Scarlett. Fire away. All right, you'll have a minute and a half. We'll signal you at 15 seconds, except for the last question, you'll have longer. First one, what role does the New Mexico auditor have relating to the proper use of taxpayer money, and what will you do within that role? Well, the statute itself dictates what <coughs> the state auditor has. It's very well defined. It's not real sexy, not real interesting, but very compelling. Here's the role. Essentially, there's two prongs. A, you must compel annual audits, and two, you must ensure the physical viability of the state. That's what the statute says. But the reality of the state auditor's office is slightly different. It requires that there be a foundation built, a trust and confidence in state government. And that's the most compelling role the state auditor should play. Let's be candid. In New Mexico, for the last 80 years, there has been serious question about the integrity of our government. And that's at all levels. And that is because there is not the trust and confidence that is necessary to have a viable working government. A state auditor should instill confidence in the process, confidence that your tax dollars are being spent appropriately and fairly, making sure that those entities who are spending money are in fact doing what the statutes charge them to do. For example, HSD. They should do exactly what the statute says. It hasn't happened. The role of the state auditor is to compel that to occur and bring trust and confidence with the taxpayers. Thank you. It has recently been reported that the state of New Mexico has not balanced their general ledger or checkbook for several years. How did this happen? Who is responsible? And what will you do as auditor in regards to this situation? I'll tell you exactly what happened. You talk about this culture of corruption. Back during the prior government, governor's administration, they bought the SHARE program. And they spent millions and millions of dollars on the SHARE program. And they did not open it up for public bid. It was closed. They bought a system that did not work. They knew it. And there was no outrage. There was no outrage on the part of the state legislature and its leaders. There was no outrage on the part of the then executive. I can tell you since then, the state has spent millions of dollars trying to undo that corrupt deal that was done eight, nine years ago. They simply haven't been able to catch up. It's a bad system but we're sort of stuck with it, unfortunately. And what the state auditor will do, will work hand in hand with the state treasurer, which has the statutory authority, and DFA, which also has statutory authority to do that. It is a shame. In 2014, the state of New Mexico cannot balance its check checkbook. Where was the legislature to compel the reform? Where was the leadership in the House to compel the reform? Where was the leadership in the Senate to compel the reform? It simply wasn't there. The state auditor will make sure they work hand in hand with the state treasurer, the governor, and DFA to make that happen. Thank you. In an Albuquerque Journal profile, you recently said, the state auditor must respond fully and promptly to allegations of wrongdoing but he or she should also be available as a resource to state agencies to help them stay in compliance and prevent problem situations. Given the workload of keeping up with audits and the limited personnel and resources of the state auditor's office, please explain how you will undertake the preventative functions you mentioned. Simple. There must be a sunshine portal with the state auditor's office, sharing information, it's your information. It's not the state auditor's information. It belongs to you. And where it starts is making sure that any and all information that is obtained through the state auditor's office is in fact the property of the taxpayers. It's not complicated. A sunshine portal is what is necessary. And that will allow any entity, law enforcement or otherwise, to do their due diligence because they'll have the information that, after all, they've already paid for. That's the state auditor's. It's not just the auditor, him or herself. It belongs to the taxpayers. And we will provide that sunshine portal so anyone can access that information because that is what is required by the law. It's not real complicated. Follow the law, do what the law says, 
and things will work out. Provide the sunshine portal that is necessary and things will work out. We will share that information appropriately and accordingly. Thank you. You'll now have two and a half minutes. Please tell the hiring committee why you believe you are the best candidate to represent New Mexicans as the state auditor. Sure. First and foremost, I'm one of you folks. I've had a lifetime of public service. It's not something that I aspire to do. It's something that I've already done. But in the meantime, I've had sort of two lives. And the first part of it occurred at a very early age. In my 20s, I was in the state legislature. We provided a nonpartisan approach to governing. We hear the rhetoric of people running for office saying that they will be bipartisan, and yet they hold partisan offices. When I was in the legislature, we were nonpartisan. We created a working coalition amongst Democrats and Republicans, and it worked. It wasn't rhetoric, it was a sincere commitment to governing the state in a nonpartisan way. We made progress. We had significant changes in attitude. We passed the first, the very first Campaign Finance Reporting Act. We passed the 1986 Education Reporting Act in a nonpartisan way. What makes me most qualified? I don't see Democrat. I don't see Republican. Here's what I see. I see that we have compelling problems in New Mexico, and they resonate deep in our history. For 80 years, they have been going on, and we've become sort of numb to it. I will make sure that that stops, and here's how. I do not see the world in a Democrat way. I don't see the world in a Republican way. I see the world as New Mexicans. Let me quote JFK. Yes, JFK, and I'm a Republican, imagine that. He said in a speech in 1958, let us not seek the Republican solution. Let us not seek the Democrat solution. Let us seek the right solution. And as your auditor, we will not seek the Democrat solution. We will not seek the Republican solution. We will seek the right solution. I will be your watchdog. You will know who your state auditor is. There will be 100% compliance. And when there isn't, they will be called out. And you will know who they are when I know. That is why I'm going to be your next state auditor. Thank you. Thank you.